I hear many people saying to me, well, I've never mistreated Aboriginal people. Why should I feel part of the guilt? Now, one of the happiest times of my life occurred years ago where we would sit around in old Aboriginal Redfern. We would sit around a large campfire at night and you'd sit in the glow of the campfire and the warmth and the gloom and the dusk and the, the darkness and we would just sit and tell stories, Aboriginal people and me. And I felt so privileged to be part of that. And as the night would go on, the stories would get sadder. And then they'd get to stories where children would be swimming in a river. Aboriginal children would swim in a river and their parents, the mums and the dads, would be looking on, protecting them. And up on the hills around would be the police and the security. And they would come down and they would drag the children away, take the children away to be fostered by white people. And the parents would be left screaming and crying and bereft. And then I'd read about in the 1820s in Tasmania where a farmer would shoot Aboriginal men because they steal his cattle. He would then shoot the children because they would grow into the adults to steal the cattle. And then he would shoot the mothers because they would produce the children who would grow into adults to steal the cattle. And I would say, oh, that's hundreds of years ago. Then I hear similar stories in living memory. In my opinion, what Australia needs is a truth-telling commission along the lines of the South African Commission so that ordinary people can hear what I heard and then a true bond, a true melding can come together between the original Aboriginal inhabitants of this country and the rest of society and we can move on as one people.